Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, it's um, also for me a great pleasure to be here at the first Asia Bond Challenge Conference in Palembang. And thanks to you, Governor, for inviting us, uh, the whole Bond Challenge family, uh, into this wonderful uh, region. I arrived yesterday and already enjoyed a little bit, at least of the city, and I'm looking forward to see more in the future. I'm impressed to see so many high-level representatives from the Asian region here at this conference and also from other parts of the world. With this conference, you establish the, first, the third regional track of the Bond Challenge. It started in Central America and the Caribbean two years ago, uh, and we also saw a regional process in Africa, and I'm really delighted that we kick off today the regional process for the Bond Challenge in the Asian uh, region. Alex Nerdin, you, you really have been in this process from the very beginning. You are our partner, you are a bit a co-father of this uh, Bond Challenge initiative. You participated in the first meeting in 2011 when the German government uh, launched the idea uh, of the Bond Challenge with restoring, with the target to restore degraded uh, land to reforest, to um, uh, reforest uh, landscapes, forest landscapes in a scale of 150 million hectares by 2020. This was really uh, a landmark uh, target. And for me, colleagues and friends, the uh, forest landscape restoration uh, is something like a masterpiece of our 2030 Agenda for Sustainable uh, Development. It uh, addresses so many issues uh, we need to address to uh, achieve a sustainable world, to keep the world inside the planetary boundaries, our economies and our societies. Forest landscape restoration can benefit in multiple uh, perspectives. It can serve the Paris Agreement to reach the two degrees target and we will absolutely be unable to come close to the 1.5 if we don't look at the storage capacities as uh, Hilde Solbakken said, the natural sol uh, storage capacities for carbon in uh, our forests and, and our landscape. Uh, we, the forest landscape restoration can also serve uh, the Aichi Nagoya targets under the Convention of Biological Diversity. We will not be able to achieve uh, the biodiversity targets without looking into our forests, without no looking into natural forests as well as in sustainable, uh, sustainably managed forests. Forest landscape uh, restoration also helps to protect uh, soil under threat and also our water resources. It can create economic and social benefits, and if we implement it properly, it will be also part of uh, uh, developing inclusive societies. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bond Challenge can provide all these wonderful benefits, but we have to be aware that we are just talking about a plus. It's a plus uh, from red plus, the reduced emissions from deforestation and destruction uh, of forests. And uh, when we developed this idea, we started under the climate uh, regime. First, we talked about uh, reforestation and afforestation. Uh, and then we thought uh, that we should widen our scope and that we should look into this landscape uh, as well. Um, the concept of reforestation or the Restruction of degraded uh, forest landscapes uh, is only meaningful, colleagues and friends, if you also look again and again in reducing deforestation. We have to stop finally deforestation. It's a long way to go, I know, but we first have to start with reducing deforestation and finally get it to net uh, zero. I know that for many countries, uh, forest countries in the world, this is a huge challenge. 
uh, not only in this region, also in Latin America, in uh, Brazil, for example, at the Amazon region, in Africa as well. It's something like the challenge, uh, like my countries and others have to face to get uh, away from uh, fossil sources and driving machines uh, for our economies. Stopping deforestation and phasing out fossil use are two coins of the same side. And looking at, uh, into what we have achieved, uh, we have to realize that on both tracks we have not been uh, enough successful at uh, the moment. We are losing uh, forests in the scale of 13 million hectares each and every year. Uh, colleagues, this is the size of Nicaragua, or, or if you put it in, into European terms, it's the size of uh, Greece that we are losing each uh, and every year. Uh, if we fail, continue to fail in stopping deforestation, uh, then we will fail to achieve all our sustainability uh, targets. Uh, in this regard, I really want to applaud the Indonesian government um, for the recent decision you took. You have been engaged in, in RED and RED Plus over so many years, um, uh, but the recent decisions, the moratorium for new deforestation uh, for the production of palm oil, the decision to protect the uh, remaining uh, peatland, and in addition, your commitment to the bond challenge, these are really, uh, these are really leadership uh, activities and we hope that many regions and uh, many countries in the world uh, will follow your example. Um, colleagues here in uh, Indonesia and South Sumatra, uh, you have strong partners uh, at your side. Um, I want to ta uh, take this opportunity to thank our colleagues from Norway uh, for their long-standing uh, leadership on RED uh, Plus. You really kicked off this whole debate. You were so committed over such a long uh, time and I think we have to thank you for this uh, engagement. Germany uh, spent already uh, 120 million uh, euros for the bond challenge activities for many projects, uh, something around 40 projects in partnering countries. Uh, I'm happy to announce that we will add another 80 million uh, until 2020 support or to support our partners in the bond, bond challenge uh, family. We believe that this is the right investment into the future. After 200 years of destruction of forest, we have to enter a new century of forest landscape restoration. Alex Nerdin, uh, you said yesterday uh, at the wonderful reception uh, that uh, bond, the bond challenge is needed for your country, for your region uh, here in South Sumatra and for the future generations in South Sumatra. These sentences are true, but not only for South Sumatra, but for the whole world. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Mr. Johan.